Hey everybody, this is Channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to run uh, indie games on Xbox 360 JDAX slash RGH. So first thing, uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, go to this Xbox 360 ISO.com link, uh, which is here. Uh, you can find a bunch of indie games, so you can just press Control A. F and search for indie game. I'm going to go for the impossible game. Uh, so, as you can see, it's a bit cut off, but it's not going to be like you. It's my one, my computer is just glitching because I searched them. So, you want to find the game you want, then you want to hit this link here. It should take you to here. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. There will be another. Sorry for that, my sister just came into the room and I said her to not disturb me while I'm making a video. She's still backside playing Minecraft on my Xbox, but still, who cares. So, you wanna download a title update, which will be in the link in the description. It's going to be on Mega, so it's just going to be like this. And you need to download a title update for that, or else the game will not work. Uh, so, once you've downloaded the title update and this one, you wanna like to download it, hit download through your browser or you can download with Megasync, but it's gonna require you to install the software, so just hit download through your browser or Megasync. Now, uh, both to install both of them, the process is the same kind of, you might say, so uh, I'm just going to be back once it's downloaded. So uh, once it's downloaded, it should also download it here. What you can want now, you can just click this to open it. Then um, you want to extract the game, and you, there will be the title update folder, which will be I mean the title update in another file. You just want to extract that at the same way. Then you wanna have a USB stick at least for 2 gigabytes minimum uh, 2 gigabytes minimum memory stick which is configured with their xbox 360 if you don't know how to do that i will leave a link in the description below to a video on how to do that so i'll just grab my memory stick and be back so everybody i'm back and I grab my memory stick and insert it in here. Now what you want to do is you want to download another program called Horizon. Uh, download tutorial will be in the description below again. So you want to open that. Then you want to uh, drag. It should show up like this. So you want to drag the game to here. If you can drag it, just you can also hit inject new file. But if you can drag it, then good. Just drag to there. Then imagine this has the title update as well. Just drag the title update in there as well. Uh, then what you want to do is next is yeah, safety to flash drive. Not many people do that, but I recommend it because it's safer. Then you can just unplug your USB stick. And I will be back on the Xbox. There's still more things you need to do, so I'll be back on the Xbox. So I put that everyone, I really don't have a capture card, so what you want to do is on your Xbox, uh, you want to go to gate, uh, settings, plug in your USB stick, go to storage, click on your USB, go to games and apps, indie game, then you want to hit A over there. Copy or move and move it to your hard drive. This is required. You must move it to your hard drive or else the game will crash. Then you can just go back. Now you have to go to games. Still not over yet. Go to games. Now go to XCX loader or anyway uh, the loading file you use. Now if you don't have XCX loader or anything, you load a exe file. I will leave a link in the description below. I mean, 
you must have probably it comes with a J tag if you J tagged it by a store, but if you J tagged it on your own then you should probably know about this stuff. So then what you want to do is uh, you want to open you want to go to you want to open uh, XBDM XM360. Uh, if you don't have XM360, I will leave a video link in the description on how to get XM360. Then you want to go to rescan all. Now it's wait for it to scan. Uh, just wait. Then you want to go to unlock all Xbox Live Arcade. It says Xbox Live Arcade, but it can actually unlock indie games. It says unlock zero, but it's actually unlock the indie game. So you want to exit to dash. Then you can go to games. Then if you now, there's one more step. If you try to open the game, as I as you can see here, it's going to uh, sorry, it's going to say to play this game sign into Xbox Live. Now it's like, wait, I don't have JDAG. How am I supposed to sign into Xbox Live? Now to sign into Xbox Live, you need to have Dash Launch. Now, if you don't have Dash Launch, as again, I'm going to give a link in the description video link on how to get dash launch but if you do have dash launch then you want to open dash launch uh, you want to open you want to open dash launch launch it now as you see this is the dash launch UI interface so what are we calling so what you want to do is go to network uh, you want to see it's a sign send notice and stuff then sign notice you want to enable it by pressing A, then go to the down and you can see fake life. Uh, you want to enable that, then hit RB or right bumper, uh, go to the place where it shows the green arrow or tick or leaf or whatever you call it. You want to hit X, then hit A. Then you can go back to the main dashboard of yours. Uh, just wait for it to load. Now, once it's loaded, you can just go to games. Then you can. Uh, I felt that everybody, I had to cut the video because my phone dropped from my hand. So, and my parents came into the room and I was scared, so I dropped my phone. So, now you can see the impossible game level pack. I hit A. Boom! See, it's working. Now, I know it was a bit complicated, but still, all for the best. I like the impossible game at the best in the game in the market. Wow, it's going to be tough to play impossible game with this hand. And I'm not looking at the TV screen. And I have never played the impossible game on my Xbox. I have played it on my PC. I have it on Steam. Bought it. Legit version. So I have never played it on my Xbox. And I'm playing with my right hand or left hand, left hand I think, yeah, left hand. And I'm not looking at my TV screen, I'm actually looking at my, uh, I'm actually looking at the mobile screen. But anyway guys, that's the end of the video here. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Okay, bye.